Good afternoon. This is Thursday and I was just thinking, I know it's somewhere in October, very early in October. And I think it's after the 5th of October, maybe the 7th. 7th of October, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Welcome to my fun, loving, crazy home. I hope you enjoy this tutorial with me and the rest of the team behind the scenes. Um, I mentioned to someone earlier this week that I'm the face, I'm Nadine, but behind the scenes there are so many people that are involved and I have something to share with you in our book that will be launched quite soon. I share those faces, the people, their stories in both Afrikaans and English. Our book has been printed. Um, it's not bound yet. We are, they still need to stick the pages together and do what they need to do with it. But I was overwhelmed this past week with so many emotions, gratitude, humbleness, um, to have been able to complete this journey. We share every person in the book that has a paint color, a chocolate paint color named after them. We are a proudly South African company that is focused on job creation and empowerment. And we share our story with loads of inspiration in the book and it will be available from mid-November hopefully but keep your eyes peeled on our pages we will share all the details with you today I am excited we are having a very creative session and we will be showing you how to create your own art single line art pieces so it's called single line illustrations that's very trendy at the moment um, there's one example and here's the next. So we will show step by step how this was done, how to complete it. And remember, I always say that I am just the inspiration and I hope I ignite that inspiration within you and that you can continue to build your own ideas and to use this as the foundation to try something new. I am going to start on the small canvas and it's actually the backing of a picture frame or a photo frame. So you don't need anything specific. It's just that here's the frames that we got from Mr. Price. So there's a frame. It can be an old frame. You can upcycle. Um, or if you can't find frames that you like, you paint them and you make them, you personalize them until it's something that you absolutely love. So I'm working on the backing. To save time, we have already painted the cardboard, hardboard with Davit, the chocolate color. There it is. It's a nice antique white and I've just simply used a 110 millimeter foam roller. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use matte black. So there's matte black and just create a very subtle washed effect as a base coat. Remember, you can also keep it white. I'm just sharing ideas. So I have a damp mutton cloth. It can be t-shirt material. It can be an old rag, anything that absorbs moisture well. I have dampened it with water, normal tap water, and squeezed out excess moisture. Because we're working on something, maybe it's um, like a, a more of a paper canvas, or a paper surface, you don't want something that's too wet that can damage the surface. I'm working on wood, it looks like thin um, MDF board, and I'm just subtly going to wash up and down with my damp cloth and some matte black. And if I want to create more of a washed effect, I just take a clean cloth and just wipe it in well. So matte black. There you can see where the surface is wet. You get a different washed effect and you just play up and down, damp, clean cloth, cloth with some matte black in it. And I'm just washing the surface. Now remember, always start with little paint on your cloth, whether you do this technique on a furniture piece or on a wall, start with little paint so that you can manipulate 
the darkness of your wash defect. If you want more darkness, less darkness, you can always just apply another coat to change the darkness of the surface. I'm just going to put it flat so that I can get a very even application. And that's washing you can absolutely combine more colors and with the next board we will be doing exactly that so this is my first background the imperfections on the board will be emphasized with the washed effect but that's actually adding more character and beauty to it okay I'm going to let this rest and then we are going to do the same wash technique on a larger surface but with more than one color and that is Rosie barking. Rosie is old. I just told someone that's visiting us that she's the grandmother in the house. She's a Labrador and she is adorable beyond words. Okay, so here I've wet the surface first just to create more of a wet surface if I do the washing that there's more of a blending happening. I'm going to start with a color and I'm going to work from dark to light and I'll be starting with Sheriff Stone. Sheriff Stone is a lovely charcoal color. I'm just going to make that cloth more wet. That is one of my favorites. It's also the color that the cupboards behind me are painted in. I don't I can't recall how many times I've answered that question, but still ask it if you want to. Ask questions as much as you like. We are here to answer all of them and are always willing to share and make sure that everyone is happy and satisfied with their creations. So I'm working with Sheriff Stone. I'm working up and down. I wet my cloth more, just a little bit with some water. You can use a paintbrush, you don't need to use your hands, but this is part of the fun. You need to feel it, you need to smell it, you need to see it and experience it with all your senses. And I'm washing my board. And now I'm going to add another color, which is going to be cement gray. So I'm working with muted neutrals, but remember you can work with any color that flows with your space, that fits with your decor style. Okay, so next, same cloth, you don't need a new one. I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and damp, not too damp, damp though, is cement grey. Two fingers full on the cloth. This is a lovely technique to do on walls, lovely wash technique on a furniture piece. It's not a perfect painted surface it's a technique so you have darker areas lighter areas and you enjoy the transformation and now the last color I'm going to work with is called Vinya stone now I just want to allow this to rest just for a minute before I start applying this so I'm going to share some exciting news with you while we allow for this cement gray wash to dry on our surface it is breast cancer awareness month so during the month of october we are giving away after every live session we will be giving away um two sets of earrings one per person so the two people can stand a chance to win a set of earrings and then the stencils we use in this tutorial what you need to do 
How beautiful, it's from Recipet. How absolutely stunning. So what you need to do, and here's the stencils that you can win together with that. These are the two I'll be using today. How stunning. You need to like our Choco Paints page and also the Recipit page. You need to tag in five friends um, and then you also need to share this video to, to someone. Share it to your page. Yeah. Okay, I have people behind the scenes that help me to remember all these things. Okay, the next color I'll be using is Vinya Stone. Vinya Stone is a lovely warm gray. Now with grays you get cold grays that can very easily look blue in a space where the lighting the, in the space is cold. Where with a warm gray you're always safe. It complements any color schemes. It will go with browns and with colors. So Vinya Stone Dance Wash Label Slide in the charcoal range are warm gray tones and lovely colors for a warm gray palette. I'm using Vinya Stone and this will very softly just mute and blend in what was already created. Lovely colors to use on a washed wall space as well. Okay, this is going to rest now and for the next I will be showing you how to apply silver leaf. A while back we did gold leaf. I have a board here that has been washed with the three colors as I have just explained. Sheriff stone, cement gray and vineyard stone and we have already done touches with silver leaf. I'll show you how this was done. So first of all you will need some clear glaze and then you will need an artist brush or a smaller brush and you will also need some silver leaf. Silver leaf you can Inquire from your nearest choco stockist. It is part of our range that we stock and it's also available on our website. And the silver leaf comes in small silver sheets, so it's very delicate. What I'm going to do, my canvas has dried now and now I want to apply the silver leaf. I will put my paintbrush, my artist brush, in my clear glaze. And I will simply paint streaks of glaze onto my surface. Nothing perfect. I will lay down my piece of silver leaf onto my glaze. The glaze acts as a glue. I will take a paintbrush just a dry, normal paintbrush, press it down and you will be able to use any leftovers later again. I just want it to dry so it, it acts, the glaze acts as a glue. So I'm just I'm pressing harder with my paintbrush that it sits. And then I will use my hand and just take away. So everywhere where there wasn't any glaze, you will simply remove the sheet sheets of silver leaf and keep them aside to use them later again. So that there's no wastage. Lovely to do on a furniture piece. You can be so creative with this to act, create some shimmer and shine to a surface in a very delicate way. Okay. 
and whenever you feel you want to add more glaze you can simply add more I'm just putting them all there you can absolutely use that again and now I rub harder to create something that's not perfect And in an instance, it's dry. I can rub with my hand just to create some imperfections. But it sticks. Next, I will be, oh, let me just keep the silver leaf there. Because I can use it, reuse it again and pick it up with an artist brush. I will use my face stencil so there's our face how beautiful is this I will not be using masking tape because I have just completed my wash technique I have just completed my silver leaf um, on the surface masking tape will remove newly painted um, new new paint from a surface so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight it can be off center it's a creative process so you do what you like this the trick with stenciling is to use as little paint as possible you can rather later apply another coat so I'm going to use matte black it's our chocolate paint black so chocolate paint is so versatile there's nothing in my house I've just shown Monique earlier she is doing internship with us uh, internship marketing internship and there's literally nothing in my house that hasn't been chocolate it's just Jaco's desk that still hasn't received that chocolate coat okay so I remove excess paint my paintbrush is dipped only the tip of the paintbrush in matte black next I remove any excess and this is the key to success little paint the less paint you use, the less the chances are that the paint will seep in, leak in underneath your stencil. Next, because I can't secure my stencil with masking tape, I will need to keep it down with my free hand. Take my stencil brush and work in circular movements. Patiently. So remember to like our page, share this video and tag five friends to win those beautiful earrings from Recipit and these stencils. So I don't dab. This is much easier just to work in circular movements. There I'm very close to the edge and I don't have masking tape. So I'll put my finger there that my finger acts as a masking tape piece or a border that I don't get any paint on my washed surface and you don't need to be an artist that can draw perfect anyone can do this you can get your teenagers whether they're your children or your grandchildren to make their own art. Okay, there again, I'm putting my finger, just make sure your stencil doesn't move, putting my finger to prevent the paint to come on my washed surface and I should be done now let's remove to see if it's perfect and beautiful something very special for breast cancer awareness month let's remember how special it is to be a woman and to take care of ourselves I think sometimes we forget that we exist because we're so busy with family and children that we neglect 
our own health. So don't do it this month. Look after yourself. So for this one, I'm going to do the same with the silver leaf. I'm just going to work from left to right. So I am simply applying some glaze randomly in this direction from left to right on my board. So it will stand like this or hang like this. Small sections at a time because the glaze does dry quickly. And the more imperfect it is, the act actually the better. I'm just going to, for this for time's sake, use a new sheet, but you can repurpose the sheets that was left over the previous time. Apply that on my surface. Perfection doesn't count here. It's going to continue. So what I'm doing is underneath my piece that I haven't applied any glaze, I'm just adding more, pressing it down. And I'm being very rough and imperfect with a glaze application. I don't know if you can see. Okay, I have a knot. Apply more sheets. And um, by the end of this creating of art, you can just stand in the room and you will also be a, a piece of art with all the silver leaf that will be stuck to you. I'm actually going to remove this piece and then I can just repurpose that here. We have boulders across the road from us. So, um, <laughs> this is very life. So, nothing is edited and perfect. You're in my house doing this with me. Okay, and now I will simply start rubbing away. Let me just do the paintbrush first. The paintbrush will secure everything, press it down. Start helping, rubbing away. Okay, and I'm rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Just a subtle shimmer, something different. and something that you can enjoy and create yourself. This is just very perfect. Let me just add them more clays and another piece of silver sheet. Okay. And I'm wiping to remove any excess. And if you want texture, you can actually build the sheets on top of each other. Use the ones that are frilled up. How stunning is this? And it's enjoyable. Someone said it's a good idea for Christmas presents. It's a stunning idea for Christmas presents. We actually brainstormed today and said we should start thinking for the lives of Christmas gift ideas. But how amazing is this? It's such a nice idea. I would love for this to be in my bathroom. Okay, I'm just removing excess. And believe me, I will repurpose all these leftovers. 
Okay, next I will be doing the leaf. And this time, instead of stenciling with black, I will use Davit. So I'm putting it down and I'm using my next stencil, which is this leaf. Let's see how it goes over the silver. A clean paintbrush, or you could have washed your brush, but make sure you dry it properly for time's sake, for the life. I'm not going to wash and dry. I'm just taking everything out of the way so it's nice and neat. I'm putting my stencil, and maybe I want the stem to be off the board, so it looks like a branch sitting here. And the same steps and techniques will apply. So I dip the tips of my brush in my David this time. So I'm using David or David, just as you want to pronounce it. I make sure on a dry cloth, I'm removing all excess. Remember, little paint, we are working with such fine detail, but you can stencil it with success. I'm removing all excess and also around the edge of the brush because that's where the paint actually loves to sit. So that everything is nice and dry. Something I want to mention, here you can see is a piece of the leaf that can move. But due to the design of the leaves, that need to be like that. So there's no imperfection, but I'm going to press that down with my free hand and firstly do that, where I can see a potential problem can occur. Press it down. And if you use our stencil of Paris paste, which is our embossing paste, you will move with your paint scraper in this direction, not upwards, because then the, paint, the paste will go underneath. So just work in the opposite direction. Make sure it doesn't move. And if it does, you move it back. Dip in my paint, remove excess, move in circular motion, move my fingers, I'm pressing it down with my free hand. And I remove, and the artwork is complete. I cannot take the credit for today's life, because I was in Cape Town busy printing our book. So thank you to Crystal and Monique that assisted behind the scenes in prepping everything, getting everything ready. You are superstars. I appreciate it so much. And then our artwork for today is complete. You don't need to seal it with anything. This is art. Choco has a building sealant. The only times we recommend to use our glazes, outdoors, kitchens, bathrooms, or if you want a surface more stain resistant, like a chest of drawers, and you have kids with fatty, dirty finger, fingers and hands, and you want to give it extra protection. But for anything else, just choco it and enjoy it. And then my message, okay, here's the finals. Could you see? And here's the finals that Monique and Crystal prepped. Look how beautiful. And we will now make a collage of everything. Look how stunning. How beautiful. We will make a collage of everything, put it on a wall, and it will be a nice cluster of artwork. My message for the week is look after yourself. Make time for yourself. Um, you are an important part for your children, your family, everyone that loves you. So take care and stay creative. Till next time. Bye.